welcome to my New York City. That is to say, look back at my New York City pre-COVID-19. Back then, one of my go-to places was the White Horse Tavern on Hudson Street in Manhattan. I went at least once a week on Tuesdays. Why? A good friend of mine had been contracted to touch up the facade, outdoor dining area, and the apartments above the old bar. It would be a long time contract, so it was an ideal place to go and have lunch and visit him and the rest of the friendly barflies gathered there in the early afternoon. 2016 through 2019, it was my pleasure to enjoy the ambiance and bar life of one of the finest dive bars in New York City. In the early afternoon, I'd walk the two and a half miles from Brooklyn, across the Manhattan Bridge, to Elizabeth Street, to Bleecker Street, across town to Hudson Street, and then up to the White Horse Tavern. The spring and autumn, it was a refreshing experience. In the summer and winter, it was an effort well worth the beer, food, and conversation at Trek's Inn. Come along with me and visit my White Horse Tavern. Absolutely. And how are you? Fine, how are you? I'm not going to complain. If it does any good, nobody's going to listen. <laughs> Especially you. <clears throat> yeah, give me some grumpy. <laughs> Here would be where you would find me at 1 o'clock on Tuesday hey, afternoon. You know what's happening? You're working too hard, I can tell. How are you? Oh, thirsty. Thirsty. At the bar, you'd find the regulars, and the tourists were at the tables. Everywhere you looked, you were reminded that this was the White Horse. The front room was only the beginning. Yep. There were two more large rooms. Let's take a look. <laughs> the ladies' room? This small kitchen served up some pretty tasty bar food. The most popular was the hamburger, or should I say cheeseburger. Yep. Then came a simple hot dog, the best you could get. If you wanted to go all the way, it was a chili dog with a nice pint. My favorite in the summertime, simple ham and cheese with a lager. And then in the autumn, it was chili with grilled cheese sandwiches. And for those who were thrifty, soup and sandwich. And finally, if you thought you were looking out for your health, a nice hearty wedge salad. Finally, we reached the shrine to Dylan Thomas and the seat where he imbibed quite heavily. room is a lot closer to the bar. <laughs> On 
fond memories in a time that seems so long ago. Standing here in the White House. <laughs> And that's why I suffer here on Tuesday. <laughs> Sold to developer in 2019, the White Horse is just a fond memory.